Well, Vancouver Island University is charting new territory with the official opening of the International Center for Sturgeon Studies. The center will be a hub for aquaculture research and development, working at the cutting edge of the industry and attracting industry representatives and researchers from around the world. As CTV's Chandler Grieve reports tonight, the facility has been funded through donations, including one from an unlikely source. Go ahead and cut it. Okay. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> and with that, the only sturgeon research facility in Canada is officially open. From just two grams all the way to two meters long. The complete sturgeon life cycle can now be researched at Vancouver Island University. The latest achievement for an institution that prides itself on aquaculture research and education. It's another piece in the puzzle in terms of Vancouver Island University uh, responsibility to the coast and to looking at uh, becoming BC Seafood University. The sturgeon industry is a $500 million enterprise worldwide. The fish, a primary source of caviar. But you don't have to have a sophisticated palate to enjoy sturgeon. What do you, what do you like about sturgeon? Well, I like the taste. Alden knows more about sturgeon than most his age, and probably more than most adults do too. He loves sturgeon so much that when the university was asking for donations for the building, he started a fundraising drive of his own. I got a lot of toonies and a few loonies. Uh, Alden came a couple years ago. He'd had a birthday party. He was five years old, and uh, he'd been seen about the and heard about the Sturgeon Center in his uh, classroom, and he decided that he wanted to make a donation to the Sturgeon Center. So at his birthday party, he had everybody bring a toonie instead of bringing him a gift. And then he collected up all those toonies and brought them to me at the university in a plastic bag, and said he'd like to donate those to the Sturgeon Center. Alden can list fact after fact about one of the world's oldest fish. Well, the first time I went here, they told me that sometimes they weigh three million eggs. This kind of enthusiasm for the sturgeon is what organizers are hoping for in two years. That's when Nanaimo welcomes in fish experts from around the world. 2013 is an um, international sturgeon symposium, the seventh international. It happens every four years. Um, and so we expect 600 delegates. It'll be a big economic boost for Nanaimo. And it'll allow us to become the knowledge and innovation hub for sturgeon research because all of those people will want to come here and share their knowledge with us. And in two years' time, in a brand new facility to explore, Nanaimo's own sturgeon expert might just be headlining the symposium. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Nanaimo.